braids are coming out. That's what we're looking like. Ugh, I don't even have words. I have no words. Like, what do I say? <laughs> okay, my hair is out. That's what it looks like. That's what that looks like. I don't know if the light is good enough. I'm in a lot of fucking pain. Braids are done. I look like an egg. Whatever. They're especially shitty today because I'm having an especially shitty day. Yay. I made myself some pasta because it's easy to reheat and I know I'm not going to want to cook again for a while. Um, this is my second bowl too. I'm in a lot of physical pain right now, like a lot. The only thing that's ever really helped with that type of thing is singing, so. I try to drink it away I try to put one in the air I try to dance it away I try to change it with my hair I ran my credit card below Thought a new dress would make it better I tried to work it away But that just made me even sad Keep us so busy. I ran around in circles. Think I made myself dizzy. I slept it away. I sexed it away. I read it away. Away. I don't know if it's the way I was raised, but cleaning helps. Yeah, look at what was living under my bed. Minus the tissue, I threw that there. But like, ew. Like, I have not cleaned under this bed since I moved in. And honestly, maybe that's why my fucking sinuses are acting up. If you're going through some shit, I promise, like, try this. Clean your space, reorganize your space. Just, like, refresh your environment, and it will help. I promise. I don't know if it's, like, a trauma thing, or what, by the way, I did my nails. The other hand looks like that, but I'm wearing a glove. Um, I, like, have to clean. Like, of course I have to do, like, the whole, like, baddie glow up, you know, feel myself, look good, feel good bullshit. But, like, I think it's just because, like, I feel like because... I don't know, my mom was super abusive, so like, after she beat my ass, she'd be like, go clean the bathroom, or like, go do the dishes, or, you know, like, that was just like, the immediate response to like, abuse, <laughs> so, I'm cleaning today. I'm literally cleaning everything, like, I had to like, move everything so that I could like, get every corner, and I'm putting the drawers back, yeah, like, whatever, it doesn't, it's not that important, but essentially, like, I have so much peanut butter to remove. And I mean, if you're new here, I have a peanut allergy. It's anaphylactic and I don't have an EpiPen. So that's some petty shit, like to peanut butter, like. Mm. But yeah, if you're wondering, um, here's where I had to kick down my own door because the nigga locked himself in here and smashed my other iPhone. Cool. Okay, um, the hallway is just like things for the room that I moved to, uh, but like, giant machete slice we love that i had to put my lv picture here because um the picture that was here is is just gone it, it's gone um damages okay so i don't understand this guy so he broke my buggy proceeded to put his belongings in the bag part of the buggy and take that I feel like the wheels would have been more effective. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. Um, this chair, it has another, it has a twin. Well, a fraternal twin now, but as you can see, it is no more. And today's the day that my landlords are coming to meet with me. So I'm gonna try to remove that before that time comes. What else, what else? Okay, throwing around ladders, so there's like random, like nicks 
in the ceiling like literally everywhere your scuff marks this this is the okay this is the thing that pissed me off the most because he only did this because I started to cry like like fuck off a cliff, really. And this nigga wanted to text me talking about give me back my aloe plant. Nigga, th it's mine, the fuck? I didn't reply. Like he keeps messaging me and I'm just like, we'll get into it really how I feel about the situation. I appreciate your concern, truly. But like we'll, we'll sit down and talk. It's just funny, it's just funny how he's handling the situation. I might be falling for this if I didn't go through like four other abusive relationships, but nonetheless. Four, four, and I'm still fucking up. It's amazing, it's fascinating. Anyway, so yeah, we have this bullshit on the, near the floor by the fucking green bin. And we have this one here. So every time I open the fridge, I get to look at it. It's just really fucking amazing that he like stooped this low over some fucking noodles. I'm, I'm gonna get into the story. I'm gonna tell you the story, don't worry. Just not right now, just not right now. So I'm like thoroughly pissed because like I don't mind. Oh, let me. Hmm. Where's my kettle? Like what? If you're gonna steal something, at least steal all the parts so it's functional. Like what kind of crackhead shit is this? What? Anyway, as I was saying, like it's not that serious. I mean, it wouldn't look that serious. Like this little. That's just a bit of drywall, a little drywall there and some drywall in the hall. It's the fucking ceiling that really like makes this just the fucking, wow, wow. If men have nothing else, it's the audacity. The way I have tea to spill, okay? I'm like, I don't know if you noticed. Like I posted the video that you saw, I posted yesterday. I felt that way yesterday. I don't know, like, you can really only be sad about something for so long before it's like, okay, how, how to undo these effects. Like, you have you gotta be functional. Functional sadness. Please stay on the line. Your call will be answered. Don't stay on the line. It is. It's been an hour. It has been an hour and a half. Oh, yeah, but take this in. This phone is cracked. And I'm pissed. I'm absolutely pissed because the other phone. It wasn't cracked at all. It was perfect. It was perfect. And he's like, let me smash the shit out of that. <clears throat> I can't get into it. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna start saying shit as it comes. Because honestly, like, I'm gonna probably forget certain details. And they're coming to me now, so let me just... After all of this, and I cut my... What stopped all of it was not the fact that the fucking homeowner came. It was the fact that I started slicing my arm. And he was like, no, stop that. I don't know what his reasons were, cause like I'm pretty sure he wanted me to kill myself. Like that seemed like what we were trying to go for. But anyway, as soon as I started the act of that, that's when he's kind of calmed down. Homeowner came, spoke to him or whatever. He left. As after shortly after he leaves, the homeowner is like, "Okay, go check your room. Try to calm down. Make sure that nothing is stolen." I walk into my room. Of course, it's chaotic, peanut butter, whatever. My phone, I see it on the floor. And I see such shards of glass on the bed. This nigga smashed the phone on the side of the bed. There's the fucking, that's where, on the corner here. So there was like little glass shards all over my fucking bed. Great, okay, so I see that. I'm like, oh, 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 no, 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 Cause like, you're gonna give me your phone or something, something. So like, I go outside, the homeowner's talking to him, he's like, give me five minutes, whatever. I'm like, okay, give me five fucking minutes. So I go inside, I put on a jacket, cause I'm like, I anticipate like, this is not the end of it. Like, it, it never is, it never is, like I know myself. So, the homeowner and him are like, ending their conversation, and they're splitting up. And I'm like, and I show him my phone. I show him, like the black phone, I'm like, uh, uh-uh, no, this nigga smashed my fucking screen. So I didn't even say like what I was, I didn't even know if I knew what I was doing. Like I just, I, I was just furious. I'm like, I just wanted him to address the broken phone screen, the broken phone screen. But as he's doing this, like I live close to like a main intersection and like on this intersection, there's like a convenience store. And so I see this man, Abel, walking into the convenience store and the ATM is like adjacent or whatever to the door. So you can see it through the door. And I'm standing there watching this man whip out a TD bank card, attempt to put in an ATM. And I come in the store, I'm like, sir, Give me my motherfucking card because 
listen, I don't know if I, like, if you don't watch my videos, like, avidly and you're not paying attention to the things I actually say, which you should be, you probably don't know that he is undocumented. He's, like, pending deportation, okay? So, he has no bank accounts, let alone, like, the fucking right to be breaking laws. But, either way, he has no fucking bank accounts. So, that, that card was clearly mine. So it became like a fucking, it became a scrap. It became a me Mexican standoff from the fucking streetcars to the street. I got kicked in the stomach. I got my head stepped on. Yeah. Like, I don't, hmm. I don't know what you guys picture when I say, I went through a lot of trauma. But like, it ain't no pussy shit. It ain't no pussy shit. It is not for the fucking faint of heart. Now that being said, you probably have a lot of questions. And I honestly, please just ask the fucking questions so I can answer them for you. Um, cause I don't like to do that hypothetical what if, maybe they assume that, just ask what you want to know, and I'll explain it. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I, I did touch on ex understanding his situation. That's just because, it's really, he doesn't want to go back to Nigeria, and it's like, okay, let me entertain my bestie until, like, fate catches up to him. And, like, it caught up to me first, and that's fucking fine. Listen, when your grandma said cleanliness was next to godliness, she was right, okay? Like something like you just feel you feel better you just feel better if you're going through some hard shit clean your space and if it's already like clean or organized or whatever dust or reorganize or just change it in some way and let me know how you feel because i feel like bef even before i put the hair i mean i'm wearing the hair i've got my nails done and maybe that might be helping but like i don't know I, maybe, for me it's like there's a sense of nostalgia like it's like I remember my purpose when I'm cleaning. Is that weird? Is that a slave thing? I don't... <laughs> no, but like my mom always taught me... It's weird. She, she always said like don't depend on a man, but like simultaneously like raised me to like be a housewife. <laughs> so I don't... I'm very like... When people say they're rare, like they, they just be saying shit because this is rare. I don't know. I don't know how many people, <laughs> you know, will go through the things that I go through and then bounce back the way that I do. And like, I don't know, like, I, there's not enough impact when I say that, like, traumatic shit happened or we had a fight or whatever, so, I'm so sorry. I, I peddled the trigger warning this time because, like, you know, some people really can't handle that shit. Like, some of y'all vanilla people out there, like, you have never experienced anything and it shows. It's crazy. Um, and let's, let's, let's not... Let's let's not give me like unnecessary advice that I'm not asking for. Let's just acknowledge the fact that like I'm aware of my real life situation and I'm willing to own up to my emotions and my actions and all that. Like it's more so just observational. Um, a lot of people when they talk about things regarding real life issues, they'll use other people's examples or just, you know, examples from history. I'm using the examples in my life so people who need to relate to it actually, you know, have context and like know that it's like relating to them because you see yourself in it. Another thing about me, I'm more than willing to fail to get the information that I need to move on to the next step. So I can get into like the dynamics of the relationship later, but it's like, whoop. <laughs> you break up, you have your reasons for breaking up. Sometimes, not always, sometimes you wanna see if there's a chance that you could get back together. And I don't know, like, I'm the type of person, I'll do the physical, mental, all that type of work to better myself as an individual instead of, like, being heartbroken. While sometimes people, you know, they have less healthy ways of coping with heartbreak. Um, and I learned this with my very first relationship, that, like, not everybody's gonna grow while you're growing. So it's okay to meet up with them, you know, make that analyzation and be like, mm, you know what, you maybe, it, it's a no for me. Like, you know, you can pass. You can decide... It's okay to confront something from your past and decide it's no longer for you. Um, and I'm like someone, I'm someone who will like let a what if kill me. So I'd much rather like try and fail than have that what if lingering there forever. So I know this shit is not going to work out. Like I just, I had the, the reasons to believe that before. And of course there was an opportunity for me to open up to someone and I needed to and he was there. And it was great to like rekindle that little friendship or whatever. But... I don't know if you noticed the couple times I joke, y'all want him? Y'all want to take him? Like, I would even joke on, like, TikTok. Like, y'all is my future baby daddy. Like, I mean, there's layers to that joke. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. But, like, deep in my heart, like, you know things aren't going to work out. And, like, I'm not, t I'm not one of those people that lies to myself. Like, I just, 
it might come off like not that way to you but i just I'm, I'm happy with like how i am how things are going like that situation it happened yes but like it just opened my eyes to something that i was already thinking this nigga ain't changed one bit okay and that's okay that's okay to acknowledge that um that being said like you need to acknowledge like if something is just on a course to destru destruction you know like for example i want to get married i want to have family i want you know wealth success all of that good stuff how am i going to do that with somebody who has no papers in this country no documentation you know like warrants like i'm not i'm not an idiot okay like please please just I need you to acknowledge that okay you guys i am here fresh out of purgatory with good news and bad news okay so basically like five hundred dollars worth of damages five hundred dollars worth of damages <sighs> that's neither here nor there this wig costs more than that i'll figure that out um what i want to touch on okay let's touch on the bad news first okay so you guys you're not gonna believe this the bad news is, I have to move. Like, I have to move. Like, I can't stay here. They're not gonna let me <laughs> be in this room anymore. Um, I have to relocate. You know, for my safety, the safety of people in the house, it would make sense. The good news, though, the good news is fascinating because I'm not getting evicted. The owners of this home have other locations, so instead of evicting me, they've opted to relocate me. Who God bless, no man can curse, okay? Just in case you were unclear. I'm kind of bummed out though just because like I like this atmosphere. Like it feels so like bright and shit, but it's whatever. Like everything's gotta come to an end. And it's like, it, I'm kind of happy because the reason I keep like rearranging and cleaning the room so much is because I want the bad energy and the memories that, you know, affected me negatively. I want those to disappear. However, now I don't have to do all that extra shit because I'm not worried about like location. In fact, hmm, this like this block is a little ghetto. I mean, it's still downtown, you know. But I've definitely worn it out. I'm gonna miss my little routine that I've sort of started to develop, but there's always room for improvement, right? So, yeah.